hot pants cream starter. Araki knows what he's doing. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Volume 1, the anime and manga podcast where we highlight and discuss new series each week. But today we are back with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which means it's another installment of Volume One's Bizarre Adventure, which means that today my name is Josh Steel Balls Michaels, and I uh, am joined by uh, Megan the Fushigi Master Perrine. Ooh, I like it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about chapters one through 35 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7, Steel Ball Run. We're going to open up with some of our general thoughts, and I have been very excited to record <laughs> this episode. So excited that my earphones are falling out. Um, because popping. I absolutely loved, loved, loved every single moment and every single chapter that we read for this part. Uh, we only, like I said, read 35 chapters mm -hmm. and my expectations coming into part seven were so incredibly high and it has met so far and exceeded every expectation mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. had. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like Iraqi really dialed everything in. We've talked before in previous episodes how each part builds off the last, whether it's in, 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 in the world, in its power systems, or just the skills that Araki has developed, writing and art from previous parts, he is constantly growing and you feel that growth and it feels like it all has culminated mm -hmm. in part seven, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite parts. And I know we're only yeah. 35 chapters, around eight volumes in. I think the characters, the stands, the world, everything has been elevated. Megan, what are some of your your thoughts? I was so excited that we were getting like an Old West JoJo because I, I mean, I, I like the Old West. I like Old Western movies. Um, and I was so excited to find out that it was going to be in this setting. And it was kind of like a rat race meets like around the world in 80 days kind of meets uh, like this old movie called The Great Race, which is like from, I think it's from like, they go to New York to Paris. Kind of just like this time, um, timed race that, that has to ensue. And I like the stakes because again, in Australia, you have like a clear beginning, middle and end. And I feel like with this concept, it is so easy um, or going to be easier to to have those stakes and to feel that the beginning, the middle and the mm -hmm. end, like, you know, the, we've had the beginning of the race so far, we're going to be getting to the middle and then the end. What is the result? Who's going to be the winner? Or what right. does that even mean? I guess now, right. <laughs> the further we've gotten into the story. Um, but I, I, I just love the setting. I love the race aspect. I love the competition because it just opens up so many doors to uh, development in the story. Um, we have like a main plot line and now we have all of the side characters that have their own plot lines who have their own motivations in winning this race and how that'll affect um, the two, you know, main, main characters and even other people's motivations, the ones running the race, the people that have stakes in the race. Like there's so many moving parts right. and and I feel like it, everything feels like it's really all fitting together in a way that doesn't feel like mix match. It doesn't feel hodgepodge. It's like all just so Cohesive like natural and, and natural and, yeah, and organic. Yeah, yeah. I really love what you said, like this railed sort of story device of a race that allows us to 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 see the goal at the end of the story but with new mysteries that are mm. popping up constantly and also taking time to go back and to learn about some of these characters and why they are, they are so personally invested in winning and, and what, like what you said, what winning means to them. Um, this was absolutely fantastic. I, I loved this device. And like I said, I think the characters, if we're going to, you know, go back to the characters for a second, the characters themselves are so well written. That is what I really gravitated towards in part five, which is why I rank it so high uh, on my JoJo list at number one, honestly, 
uh, because of the, the the characters. Part four had great characters, but here I just feel like everyone is written so incredibly well. Uh, all of their backstories, all of their motivations, like are endearing, and the best way to showcase that is with the character of Dio. Dio being a big bad that has been in so many parts uh, thus far. But now we're getting a new version of Dio. And for the first time, not only do I empathize, empathize from the bottom of my heart with Dio, but I, I am kind of at this point in the story, like not rooting for him as much as I'm rooting for a Zeppeli or rooting for a Johnny. But like, you know, I, I, I think he has a good reason to be the way that he is and to want the things that he yes. wants. I understand yes. him. Yes. I and, empathize with him. Yes. And that's what's so interesting about, you know, this type of device in a story when we're getting fed all of these side characters and getting fed all of their backstories. There's like a point in time where you're like, yeah, these are the two main characters that I'm following. But like anyone... I mean, he has a big duty in what he is trying to accomplish, but so so does Sandman. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, Dio, like all of these characters, like you kind of equally, like whoever wins, like it, it's cool as long as it's not like a bad guy. Right. And um, I think that's interesting. And I'm curious to see if there's any like team ups that are going to happen, if we're going to get like a part five situation where we do have the Joe bros come yeah. back if there's going to be more joe bros um and yeah i just i'm just I, I really am so happy that this part is the way it is i don't know i, I just know, again you go into each part it, not knowing what to expect but i would have never expected yeah. this and people were hyping it up so so much so i was kind of worried about how i would feel about the start of it um but you know, I, I do like this clear muddy, I guess, in some parts of like, what is actually happening in this race? What is the real end goal of the race? But now that we kind of know um, what the end goal is, it's going to be super exciting to see it play out. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I love uh, about it as well is uh, it, it seems like Iraqi has taken taken everything that has worked and now he fully and completely understands this world, these powers, this this system. And he has a story that he really wants to tell and that I really feel like he 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 knows himself extremely well. Oftentimes I felt like in, in part six, you know, there were characters that I fell uh, felt like were falling by the wayside and didn't really have an, an, an organic way of, of fitting into the overall narrative that was happening. And they felt forced at certain yes. points throughout. Yes. Um, and But and, everybody here fits yes. so incredibly well. And it seems yes. like it was a, a by design since the very beginning. I really feel he has a strong voice and a, and a, and a very um, yeah. specific story that he wants. Yeah. To tell. And it's so easy to, to, to make these characters like fit because they are all so different, but they're all coming together for this race. And that's right. why it seems so natural. Anyone they all have could that join. common goal. Yes. Yes. Instead of like, you know, in in part six, it was just like, I'm going to help you out because I, I want to help you out. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you know, Johnny was Johnny's clear goal was to find out how these how 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 Yairo's balls work. And yeah. I think that's interesting. And I think that we really want to dive into that. Um, oh, I think yeah. that that there's more going on there. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. 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 Araki's like, hmm, how do I create a story <laughs> about a young man trying to research another man's balls? Yes. Yes. How to uh, mm. how to win another man's respect so that he will, he will give give him uh, his balls. The the or the secret the knowledge the secret and the, the knowledge of his, of his balls. balls yeah and it's really like a coming of age story yes. he even said that in the beginning um, yeah I'm, so I'm, if you think about it like that it is just like so complex there's so much to unpack oh, yeah. so much to I uncover unpack all of it yeah yeah uh, I actually love uh, gyro gyro I I gyro I, it's like the it's like the food right I don't know gyro uh, uh, either way I am so in love <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Uh, and obsessed with this character from the moment he came on page. I was, I was, I was, I was in love. It was a, it was a Bruno Bucciarati situation all over again from character design to attitude, from ability. I, I, I also, you know, really want to say, 
that I love how even Iraqi has chosen to incorporate stands yes. in this story. We yes. are 35 chapters in yes. and he, we have barely seen, we've seen stand abilities, but the manifestation of the stand itself has been something that we haven't really seen a lot of yes. for snippets, for small moments we, we have. Um, yes. but, but yeah. And I, again, I mean, I was kind of curious when we were first starting to read it a couple chapters in, I thought it would be a situation like a part five um, where Johnny would be kind of like a Giorno where the characters like, you know, he would shine, but the characters around him would shine brighter. Um, mm. And I thought it was going to be that situation. I kind of had that feeling too. But the further we got into it, I kind of realized that, um, I mean, Yairo, I, it's a, he is a, it's a big, big pants to fill in the first couple chapters. He was really, yeah. Iraqi was really, really focusing on him and just how sick and badass he was. And then Johnny kind of tagged along with him. And I am really enjoying their dynamic, but also Johnny as a Joe star too. Um, I think it is a bit different because of the destiny right, overall like, yeah, like kind what of shambling. Star even mean exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that's why, you know, that that's why we're seeing it kind of back again um, versus like Jolene, who is a direct descendant of Joe Tro, yeah. who is a Joe star, like, you know, all of these des uh, you know, destined well, things that happen. So I, I kind of like. like that. Yeah. I, I love that. And that's why I, I say, you know, to go back to like Iraqi feeling like he has a very clear story. He wants to tell. I also feel like, because we've we've gotten the uh, we have, we've had to go back to reading it because obviously this part isn't adapted yet, which has also been an incredible experience. Reading the colored version has been amazing, but I I I feel like the excitement. I feel like Iraqi's excited to tell the story. I I can't even tell you where I get that from, but I just feel it. I I do feel like maybe if I would have read part six, I I, I would have been able to discern you know whether certain opinions I have about it uh, are, are true or not. But I believe Iraqi was on record at some point talking about how he felt like he was running out. He was running dry. The creative juices were mm. running a little bit dry. He felt like he had kind of you know, written himself into a corner. But I really feel like in part seven, he feels truly unshackled and he feels excited to tell his story. It just like oozes through the, the, the pages. Yeah, and what I do really, really enjoy, and I kind of felt this way too, um, obviously it's Jojo, obviously it's going to be over the top, you know, craziness, um, bizarre activity. Um, but what I really appreciated in this, in, already in this part that the stand abilities, because they're manifested, mm -hmm. because they're getting these abilities, um, you know, from within themselves or things that they do or things that they are affiliated with. It seems so much more natural, even if the stands are like unnatural, it seems so, almost like earned in a way right. it's really interesting right. because we haven't really seen that we've seen like stands kind of complement their user for sure um but i feel like here when we get to see that in motion or you know even with johnny it's it just so it, it it endears me more to absolutely. the battles absolutely it, it, it makes me care more about the battles it makes it, it makes these stands themselves feel so much more personal to the user. Yeah. Not like you could just give any stand to anybody. They're yeah. interchangeable. They're very personal to that user. And I really do feel like, and I wrote this down, that um, there are, even in stand abilities themselves, the concepts are a little simpler. But, but mm. simpler concepts, I feel like, allows for them to be pushed to insane degrees yes. to give you some of that, like, bizarreness. Yes. Instead of what I felt like in part six a lot, which were insane concepts from the jump that were pushed to an even more insane and yeah. oftentimes like harder to follow and somewhat convoluted degree. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Here, I mean, it is very much still bizarre, but I love that we've gone from the arrows to now this uh, uh, devil's palm where so far we I don't think. As of being 35 chapters in, I don't think we've seen someone acquire a stand from birth. I think that they've all had this like resolve and this strength of spirit and passing through the de desert's palm or devil's palm has sort of awakened and given a form to that uh, mm -hmm. uh, that spirit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think we've seen anybody like have a natural stand. Yeah, and, not, and, yet. It, yeah right. not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. 
But I and I also like you said, like it would also because you're saying that it would endear you and 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 you know we're saying that they feel more personal. But also it would just then make so much more sense as to why you know these characters, why they could use these stands, why they would have a more vast knowledge of the stand itself and be more capable of yeah. manipulating it and pushing it to yeah. certain degrees because they understand they can hone it more right mm -hmm. like the the stand user who could turn people into dinosaurs like understood dinosaurs uh uh, uh mountain tim or whatever his name was like you know he oh, was a master of the lasso tim. so of course he could use that to his advantage um you know i, I you know Gyro, gyro with with his steel balls, like uh, it just. I I love balls I, of steel. Yeah. and I, I also feel like I I I get Did it and get I appreciate it? it. No, it's like probably why Iraqi. You no, know, I get it. Like he has the resolve. He has balls, the balls of, of steel. steel, and I and I love that. I love that. And he kills. <laughs> kills people with those balls. <laughs> I want to die by the balls. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. Uh, but also that, too. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I just really, really, really do love that about this so, so, so much. Because I felt like at times, even though I didn't um, mind so much in certain parts, like in part five, let's just use Bucciarati, who's one of my favorite JoJo characters, as an example. Mm -hmm. Like, I loved his stand. But what was so personal to Bucciarati? Like, wh why were zippers or creating, like, being able to zip body parts or holes because, in reality? Like, why was that so personal Josh, for him? He, he, he is used to unzipping a lot of things. Or zipping things up, yeah. Unzipping. Or zipping, you know, because it's the mafia, like, you know, zip, zip your lips. He zips the lips, but also unzips. Oh, that's sinister. To get that's sinister. the lips. That's what the fuck? Oh my god! What the heck? You're gonna get demonetized after that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was good. That was good. That was um, good. That was, that was really good. Yeah, that's um, it though. But yeah, I I I really do uh I really do like the sort of dialed back nature of it all, but. In being dialed back, it's just easier to digest and understand. That way, when it is pushed to that bizarre degree, um, I can still follow it, and and it's still yeah. in the realm of like Sanity. believability. And in this in this crazy world uh, that 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 Iraqi has has you know sort of sort of uh, created. Um, but yeah, man, I, I I I every single character that we meet in terms of like Gyro, Johnny, Sandman. Uh, Poco Loco, Dio, like there has not been one character that's been a mess. That has hot been pants, hot pants. Like everybody has been so lit, like so lit. Sam, man, what a crazy way to start the story, Mr. Out. President. Oh yeah, the president's pretty funny. Dude. The that's president. Pretty... I mean, like they there's like f four of them. Like why are they all well, dressed the same? One. Uh, why are they all the same though? They're his followers. They're his cabinet. They're his. Uh, I don't know. They just they they found a style that they like and they all stuck with it and mm -hmm. ran with it yeah yeah um but yeah everyone's been a a win mm -hmm. every character has been a win so far um and even the 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 battles that we've seen so far have mm -hmm. been really riveting and entertaining and you know honestly not that long i feel like the longest one that we had um was Kind of closer to the end of the chapters, uh -huh. um, which was the the hook one. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. still, I mean, like, I feel like it, it's not dragging. It's right. just continuing to go, and that is the nature of the concept that Iraqi's done with this like race, because they always have to keep moving. That's it's not a question where they pork could just pie hat. pork kid. pie. I like the pork pie hat kid. Yeah, that was the one with the hooks. Yeah, yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, just down to everything, like the art is amazing. Um, it, it, it's insane. It's so it's insane. And Iraqi good. has he has more time yeah. to to work on a chapter now. Yeah. I think it's it's at this it point shows. there there was a point it it does show. I don't know for certain, but I believe I remember hearing that 
at a certain point in part seven is when it shifted to being monthly because it was part of a uh, a, a, a different magazine uh, magazine. Mm. Um, but I do believe like the first like I could be wrong, but around 20 chapters were still under show and mm. jump and then it moved mm. um, <clears throat> over to a more mature mature uh, uh, i mean i don't know i mean you could cut it i mean we, we we got a lot of gore in part six yeah and it's dude. always been gory i mean even in part five that's when they really up the ante with yeah. the gore i think um because like giorno bucciarati like bucciarati's arm fell off like five times it was crazy um and i feel like in, in this part two we're seeing that again and again like the two you know mcs i, I guess i call them two mcs but yeah they, they kind of yeah, are yeah. um you know yairo gyro yairo and johnny like they just get messed up, like in every fight, like hooks and faces, freaking legs blown off. Yep. And there's always like a funny fix that Araki yeah, does yeah. of like, I can heal you with my ability, or I can just find this string, this yeah, needle this and thread that string. that uh you know heals all w- the zombie horse. I think yeah, it yeah, was yeah. referred to, but it is just like still like damn, they're getting they're getting they're getting a little wrecked. Um, and again, wh- like reading this in color. I had read a like pretty much all of Whole Cake Island and uh, from One Piece in color, which was awesome. And then I read up until it wasn't updating anymore because it, I think it was like going into the early stages of Wano, um, is where they left off, and I'm sure it's still continuing. But that was fun. That was awesome. But going into this, it was just like again the concept, reading it in color is just like a breath of fresh air. Like it really like I'm in the desert, bitch. Like I'm I'm on a horse. I have I have a big iron on my hip and I'm ready to do damage. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I'm ready. To, I have a big iron on my hip and then a big steel ball, mm. different kind of iron on me. I love it. I got I got two irons on me. Yeah. Ready to and do, watch out do the laundry because <laughs> I, I got two irons on me and I'm ready to Ooh. iron out those wrinkles. You know what I mean? Ooh. Right. It kind of fell apart. My bad. I ruined it. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I, I just got to say again, to sum everything up, I mean, this is incredible. This is everything I love about Jojo, everything, the character relationships with themselves, the standability, them being personal, like, ah, the mystery unraveling underneath the race itself. We're finding out about the corpse and we're finding out about the, 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 the saint that the corpse could belong to. And I think we know who it belongs to. (laughs) Um, but, but what does that even mean? Like, I don't know what the hell that even means. Like, well, I think we got more, we got the most information about that from Dr. Fernadan, 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 um, pretty much just like laying it out. Like, if you don't know who I'm talking about, you're an idiot and you put the pieces together then. Um, but saying like kind of how this would unite people and I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, in this world, saints' bodies live for, you know, thousands of years. So I, I guess having a body would maybe solidify belief and then it would be universal. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think mean, it's you guys uh, depending know on how many. Yeah, it's dependent on you know how many. Uh, about. It's depend. I mean, if they've read up to these chapters, which I hope they have. Uh, <laughs> if you read, if you read anything, we kind of have, yeah, a theory. But, but uh, a, a yeah, I mean, solid. based on however, however many miracles that they perform posthumously, I believe is uh, the amount of time in which their body can be preser- preserved after life. That's uh, yeah. essentially how I, how I uh, remember it. Uh, well, and this, oh, you know who it is? Who? Oh my god! Who is it? Who is it's it? old Saint Nick. It's oh, Santa. Oh, wow. old Saint Nick. Santa. It's not freaking Santa, dude. Oh my god, it's literally Santa Claus. It's not freaking Santa, dude. It's Santa. This is sure. Chainsaw Man. Old Saint Nick. Uh huh. Miracles. Presents. Uh-huh. Kids around the world. Okay. That's a big miracle. That's a lot of well, miracles. Okay, what does that have to do with? Who's who? Who in the story is giving out presents? Our standability's presents? No, I'm just talking about presents in general. Those are miracles. So that's why Santa's body has been preserved for that long because of the amount of miracles that he did. Is that was that isn't that how it works? We know why are you looking at me like that? It's not it's, old Saint Nick, and it's you know literally it's not old Saint, Saint Nick. Nick. And we both it know is. it's not old. It's Saint him. Nick. It's him. It's Santa Claus. Okay, it's Santa Claus. Spoiler alert, it's Santa Claus. Thank you. 
We anyway. all know who it is. And uh, <laughs> I, I still have no idea what that even means, what the implication <laughs> for that even possibly it could be. But I am very intrigued. I also want to say that I love how, like, what was that little stink eye? What was that stink eye for? Because I didn't. It's just like. Because I, I didn't follow you down the snow covered rooftops that were your. Follow me down the chimney, bitch. Follow you down the chimney. That was your old St. Nick. <laughs> theory riff that you just did right now i just thought it'd be funny if we spent 15 no. minutes speculating no. on, like, on the corpse body being- no i just think it'd be funny if we said that and people were like it's not santa <laughs> like if, if we really convinced them yeah. that we were sincere and then we got some well, like one person who yeah, was like really yeah. passionate about yeah. like I, I can't believe you guys actually like do you guys really think that uh <laughs> you're sick <laughs> you're sick <laughs> you're sick um <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, We're on the same page. <laughs> oh, my God. The heat. The heat off these balls this episode. <gasps> um, no, really. It's hot. I'm sweating. I'm spinning. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. 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 We're getting okay. to... We're spinning out of control. Okay. I really do want to say, too, that I, I also really enjoyed how I think Iraqi has played with the expectations of introducing characters that have been introduced because we are in an entirely yes. new universe. We yes. meet a Stronheim character, we meet an Avdal character, and we meet many other characters that have been present in other parts. However, these are new versions or maybe ancestors of new versions of these characters. Yes. And I love that he plays with the idea that just because they were someone from a previous part, I assumed, especially with the Avdal character, that they would be significant and play a significant no. role. But it was like right away. And I really loved um, that. Obviously, they have no, I mean, the lineages, the destiny, everything, the contentious relationship between Dio and uh, Johnny. Johnny. It was so funny because for whatever reason, like Johnny's a pretty like level headed guy, I would say. Um, he is, you know, he's a nice guy. I, I don't take him as like a mean guy. I take more Yairo as a mean guy, like straight to the yeah, point. Yeah, but he's. But, his flashback, like, he, that was pretty yeah. douchey. No, I, I know. But still, like, him, I, I, that, I think it was made a point to think that, like, oh, this guy's kind of, like, an okay guy. And then once, like, Dio's started in the mix, Dio just does something for him. He just he just really, like, gets under his skin. And it's so funny. Yeah. Because, you know, he's just, like, laying there. And he's like, don't go over there. And you're always yeah. like, okay, I'll just, I'm just going to go over there. And he's like, this guy is, this guy, yeah. this guy you have no. It's like it's like it's like that sketch that was on YouTube when he was trying to he was, he was talking about his friend and he was like, "Dude, this guy oh, sucks." Right. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. The guy, Joel I Haver wouldn't. Sketch, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy had like twelve bodies on the news. And then right. he's just like a regular guy. Right, right. Like that's Dio. Dio's giving off like I'm not really that much of an asshole, but and, it's just the like playing with that dynamic. He is, is so an asshole fun. in the sense that you know the world has really like discarded him. <laughs> And that is like enough for me to like yeah. get and see your point of view. Yeah. You know, like But that's why I just love that. I just love that funny. little touch of yeah. like they have no real history, but for whatever reason, right. yeah. the Joe Star and the Dio yeah. do not mix. Yeah, Johnny just like really hates it. <laughs> He's like, drink the coffee, go. And it's just like, why are you so rude right now? Like that and was- even Dio's just like, What's going on? Yeah. It smells like coffee. He's well, like, I don't well, want you here. He was under that stand user's uh, control uh, at least in my Little mind dino. because he was he was acting he was, weird he was acting weird but johnny was already not having him he's like yeah, he's not gonna stay you're not you're not gonna follow us you're not gonna hang out with us we're not friends we're not chummy right now let's just get that my, let's just get that straight it's me and my boy yeah and his boy's like i don't really care if he yeah. i don't really I'm he's like different. you want his balls huh yeah you, you want, want his balls. balls well guess what i got his balls okay he got a different kind of ball though uh, that's true. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I think those are all of our general thoughts on the part so far. Uh, again, we are ex- extremely both blown away. Um, but before we go into our uh, beat by beat section of the episode, this uh, is the time that we would like to look to our community and ask for. Uh, a little bit of help. If you guys are interested in seeing me and Megan cosplay in our final part, like I said, it'll be three parts total. This is part one. We'll have part two. And for our third and final episode, if you would like to see us cosplay as uh, Gyro, Gyro Zeppeli <laughs> himself, go, go Zeppeli, 
uh, and Johnny Joestar, then uh, you can cl click the link in the description below of this video. We have a goal set, uh, a goal of $150 set for cosplay and materials. We are probably going uh, to be buying um, uh, the Johnny Joestar cosplay, but for the Zeppeli cosplay, it'll be way cheaper to make. So I will be uh, 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 using some of that money to buy foam, to make a hat, to make the goggles, uh, to, to, really, to really make uh, as much of the costume as mm. I can. So that is what the money will go towards. We will disable the link when we reach that goal. Um, so if you click it and you're not able to access that page, then it probably means we hit our goal. Um, and that's just because we are, again, just asking for that amount and uh, nothing, nothing more. So if you're interested, if you would like to help in that way, again, you can click the link in the description down below to make that happen. Um, well, let's start going through it beat by beat. beat. So where it opens <laughs> is the Steel Ball Run race. Again, I had no idea what Steel Ball Run meant. Uh, oftentimes, the titles are synonymous with the stand of yes. the protagonist, the main yes. Joe star of that part. Uh, and I just thought it was really interesting. A uh, member of our community, uh, JoJo fan Alexander Arts, said that, uh, you know, it, this, when it first came out, wasn't explicitly advertised as a JoJo part. Mm. A lot of people at the time maybe speculated whether uh, or not it was going to tie in or if it did how it was going to. Yeah, because, I mean, based off of part six, maybe they just thought... <laughs> Especially after part yeah, six. They were sure. like, what's going to happen? Where do they go from here? And is this in the past? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Um, so that's cool. And I, just doing research again, too, like... I looked on my anime list, which I mean, you can it's a pinch of salt, I guess, of right. how you want to. I mean, everything's relative. So how you rank things is relative. But I mean, I was looking at the top manga of all time, again, relative to what you think, what your opinions are. Uh, but it was like Berserk number one, which pff, I get it. I get it. I understand. And guess what was number two? Um... I think it was probably, uh, I would it say... It was still Ball Run. It was still Ball Run. Let me guess. It was... I, I was going to say it was probably uh, Rent-A-Girlfriend. That was probably number two. Rent-A-Girlfriend was robbed. <laughs> but it wasn't even just any JoJo part. It was Steel Ball Run specifically. Yeah, Steel Ball Run specifically. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, wow. Like when you showed me that, I was also gagunked off Wow. My ass. I mean, above, like, I think it was like Vagabond was number three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, One, Piece and was One Piece was four. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's really up there. I mean, number two. Number two? Like, even Berserk. I mean, like, I mean, we're like One Piece heads. So it's like, One Piece is not even, I mean, in the top three. Yeah. And again, it's all relative. And we're to Berserk numbers, heads too. And, and we're also yeah. like, yeah, we've also become JoJo heads. Yeah, recently yeah, too. but yeah, top. I mean, out of all of the parts, out of all of them, you got Steel Ball Run, mm -hmm. and people. Yeah, I mean, just crazy. But anyway, we'll we'll go BIP. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Get off, no, no, get no, that's track. totally fine. That was, pretty, and we're gonna do our best. Crazy, it, it absolutely uh, was and is crazy. We're gonna do our best to get through everything. We're gonna try to get through it in a timely manner. Um, so we might uh, gloss Don't over some uh, some things and really that's just to give time to other more important moments. And we might still forget moments or accidentally skip a moment, but we're going to do our best. Yes. Um, like I mentioned, the Steel Ball Run begins. Steel Ball Run is, of course, the name of the race that uh, has been put together by a man named Mr. Steel. Yes. But September 25th, 1890. San Diego Beach. I want to do it like a New Atlantic. Do it, in, do it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to do it in like a country accent? No, no, no. I was going to say do it in the voice of like the narrator from the anime. But do, but do it however you want to do it. Oh, how does he even sound? Yeah, see, that's why. That's yeah. why. Yeah. September 25th, 1890. Okay. San Diego Beach to New York City. First North American cross country horseback race. Any kind of machine. Mm. First prize. Was it fifty million dollars? And that's also something to note. That's no chump change. That's no chump change for the time. Well, no, but Iraqi said that that, or it was stated for the time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was stated in the moment, which I thought was really interesting. And again, I think it's just a culmination of everything Iraqis learned at how he can tell the most effective story. Mm -hmm. 
the exchange rate, like adjusting for the crazy amount of inflation from uh, a, a point that far in the past to now, in his mm-hmm. mind, it was either someone in the story or he himself has an author's note or, or the translator's note uh, was saying that, you know, it basically would have the stakes would have felt less to a reader now. Yeah. So it is $50 million, but that is just to make us understand and feel uh, the, the, the weight of So that it's probably what, like two grand? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, like like not a lot. Like right. it's like, and it, the it's grand 50- prize is five thousand dollars five dollars they're like oh my god yeah yeah yeah. get your balls out (laughs) yeah everyone well we're supposed to feel like we're supposed to feel like that is five five hundred right it was the amount um that is supposed to feel like 50 or 550 50 50, sorry 50 million um 50 million is 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 that it feels it's supposed to feel like 50 million to them that's why it mm-hmm. is 50 million so i thought that was really cool too i also thought the facts in the beginning were super interesting yeah 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 i love the um yeah i just i just love that aesthetic i love the the time period it is just so like timeless and seeing that like a rocky spin on like i mean all the character um like personalities and stories are awesome but the designs too like uh, all, all, all of them, them are so unique and that's always with jojo i mean he never misses on the designs Ever. To not be one honest. part but not one oh, part. i love to see that that mesh yeah together it's so fun yeah and i and i also think another reason for sharing those facts at the beginning was to inform readers that you know obviously this is a fictional world but it's based on our world to a degree but well, also yeah, it's a little but also uh, can change like with a reset. If you're even saying that this is a reset, reset a universe or just an alternate universe altogether, it does have a lot of similarities with our mm-hmm, universe, mm-hmm. but it, it gives him a easier groundwork to start off of, but allows him to deviate from, uh, which I just think is so smart as well. Again, yeah. it's just the culmination of, I feel like years and years, decades of knowledge that he's acquired over each part. And I really feel like it's, it's, it's all culminated in part seven, which is like a fucking masterpiece so far. <laughs> um, and it actually opens on Sandman too, which again, if you want to hook me in a story, dude, there was no fucking better way. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine a better start to the story. Like it opens on Sandman. It doesn't open on Zeppeli. It doesn't open on Johnny. It opens on Sandman, who has probably one of the craziest introductions. His whole his whole uh, 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 tribe, I guess, is is uh, against him and after him because the white man has come into their land and taken everything from them and, and has threatened to. He's also there. He's also reading books and he's reading the white man's uh, books. books and they don't. Uh, they don't like that very much, but his whole, his whole at all, uh, they hate it actually. They really? Hate it. Yeah, they hate it. <laughs> and get uh, this. Um, but he is of the mind that, look, if we want to beat these people, then we have to know our enemy and we have to use and, and speak their language and their language is money. Yep. And I, and I can, I can apply the knowledge that I've read through these books to defeat them. I mean, just, I mean, uh, Already, I'm so endeared. I, I didn't even know who Zeppeli was, who Johnny was, but already I'm like, let's fucking go, dude. Like, so in. So yeah, because it's such a, um, it is such a cool reason. I mean, it is such a, like, this is, this is, this is how I, I save everyone. This is how I get our land back by, like, doing this. And it just goes to show, like, this is just one person in the race. Everyone has their, yeah, their, their own reason. thing going on. And, and it feels like they're it's like weighing on them like they're the whole race like same thing with Zeppeli once we find out what he's going through and what he has to do in order to win it's like damn it's a lot of pressure so much pressure <laughs> it's not just for like money there's I mean obviously it's the money but but you know there's other things going on too. yeah um and we even get that moment with him and his sister Sam and his sister in the in the rocks they've seen like perfectly carved out circles yeah. which is just a a, a mystery yeah. that that you know it gets paid off very quickly but it's just a really cool way to introduce zeppeli before you introduce zeppeli like i i really enjoyed that as well um and then we get to the race and everybody entering and uh, that's where we officially meet zeppeli and mm-hmm. i and i uh 
I believe we meet Zeppeli first after Sandman. And uh, his introduction was just gangster. Come gangster on now. Gangster as fuck. Gang- gangster. I can't say it enough. Bro, he, he, he comes in there like with so much swagger, uh, uh, you know, makes a fool of this like pickpocket who's trying to steal money from him and then smiles with them gold grills. Are you kidding me? Go, go, Zeppeli. Like, that's so fire, dude. I don't care, man. That that was like one of the coolest, that smile, his whole aesthetic. Bro, I mean, he he is up there as one of my just favorite character designs, but characters mm-hmm. as well. I love this man. I'm in love with this man and his balls. <gasps> um, and at first, you know, he's that's using... That's what gets you. Yeah, it's the balls. Always the balls. Um, he uses uh, these balls and I uh, <laughs> at first thought like, okay, like, Again, I, I don't know where the story's going. I'm, I'm along for the ride. I see him able to spin them and to do things that a normal person Fushigi. wouldn't be able to do. I mean, he had the Fushigi before it was popularized. He he was able to spin them right. any way he wanted. I and mean, it's a little more advanced than Fushigi, you know, and I, I, I'm starting to think, is Haman back? Are we bringing Haman back? Is that what we're doing? If you say Haman's Fushigi... Shiki's probably a little Haman, yeah. It's probably, yeah. I think it is, too. I, I know for a fact it is. <laughs> uh, and, and so, but the, also, that was never really truly expanded on either. It was just a, a technique that was passed down through the Zeppeli family, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. we will learn more about later. But already, again, I, I, it's just so much fun. I, you know, yeah. Not knowing where the story is going to go at all. Because so not knowing, fun. like, what rules are still in place after yeah, the reset. Yeah, Like, what's going on? And again, I don't know if this is a resetted uh, universe or just a completely an different alternate universe, you know? Mm. Um, but either way, there's that's still, that still exists in both scenarios, like mm-hmm. that that mystery. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we, we see him... Uh, we see him uh, beat up this, this guy who was trying to steal from him and... Uh, uh, there's just like kind of brief moment where it looks like they might duel. Johnny gets in the mix and somehow gets hit with a ball and is able to like kind of, he's in a wheelchair and he's able to, which I also don't know how I, I don't know. I mean, I guess when I've seen any picture of, of him before, he's always been on horseback. Yeah. Yeah. So even like him being in a wheelchair was also something that was surprising to me. Yeah. Um, but he gets hit, he gets hit by a ball and he's able to kind of like stand, kind of like, uh, he's able to move his leg for the first time yeah. in a long time. And he's like, Whoa, what the fuck? Like, what was that? Like, what did you do? Yeah. And Zeppelin's just like, bye. Yeah. You know, not really giving him the time of day, but I mean, after this moment, jo- Johnny's like, yeah, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to see what's going on. Yeah. I need <laughs> to, I need to understand the secret to this spinning technique because I lost everything. And we find out, you know, more about Johnny around this time that he was a superstar jockey, that he was at the top of the world, really. I mean, yeah, he was like getting laid and oh, some you left crazy and right. shit. He had everything. I mean, he was he was the guy. Yeah. And everybody was rooting for him, powerful people, um, famous people. I mean, he he was on top of the world and bro, his backstory is so crazy. It set him up to be kind of douchey, which to Megan, your point earlier, you said like Johnny was going to have to do a lot to like be on Zeppeli's level. Cause immediately Zeppeli, I'm like, I love this guy. When I see Johnny's backstory, I'm like, okay, dude, he was a dumb kid. Even he said like, what would you do in that situation? Like, you know, he was just on top of the world as fame and he got humbled in the worst way possible i mean he did he, he did i mean that was so extreme that's why you don't cut lines that's I mean, why you don't cut lines right that's why whoever if you cut lines you are a sinister a sinister yeah. a sinister right okay don't do that because you don't yeah, know no, you don't know that. you don't know what you could know, happen I, I i try my hardest to avoid confrontation at, at all costs yes you know, i always feel like there's a way to really like approach a situation yes uh and, and sort of diffuse any sort of confrontation mm-hmm. but have you cut in line dude i feel like I, it's I, all know, bets my are gut off. reaction is like what are you doing all bets are off yeah yeah it's like do you think that we're all idiots yeah like you're disrespecting everyone because you're taking a massive shit on everybody. everyone 
you think we're just sit you just you think we're just fucking standing here for our own enjoyment? You think this is fun for us too? Yeah. Oh, you think I like standing? You think in this I like line? standing in line? You think I liked being here at six o'clock in the morning? Yeah. And fucking you know pissing in a in a Gatorade bottle? Yeah. You think I like that? Yeah. You think I enjoy that? And then mistaking that Gatorade bottle later on for actual Gatorade because it was a lemon lime bottle and then I drank it. You think I like that? No, I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? So fuck that guy for cutting. <laughs> that actually happened to me one time. You're such a fucking liar. <laughs> Those are two different yellows and you know it. No, no, no. I would I say mean, apple juice. No, I mean, I was hydrated enough that it wasn't like apple juice. <laughs> if you're working with apple juice, <laughs> then you need to drink more freaking water, dude. You're just self-reported. I'm not saying that because you think of pee and it's usually pee is yellow. Yeah, but I've also had an apple juice. Okay, cube. but you just said that you thought that the Gatorade that was lemon lime mm -hmm. was your own piss. If your piss was clear, it would not be the same color as a lemon lime flavor. That shit is like it bright wasn't neon clear. Green. It wasn't apple juice. It was in the middle. <laughs> that was my level of hydration at the time. It was a perfect storm. I'm surprised you didn't get arrested for public indecency. <laughs> it wasn't in public. I wasn't. You were in line. Oh, oh in this story, yeah, I was in line, yeah, but aye, not in real life. Yay! Point is, don't cut. Don't Just cut. Don't cut because you know people are crazy. And, and Johnny and, wanted to blame it on that girl too. Uh, yeah, grow up, no, dude. no. He's like, I didn't even want to go to that stupid play. That's that. He literally sounds like. like I mean, it's head, like any boy. He's like any boyfriend that like yeah. blames. If anything goes automatically wrong, automatically blames on the her. Girl. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even want to come to this restaurant. And she's like, babe, I got shot. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like, why? I mean, he's no, like, I, he's he, like, got, he got, he got shot. shot. He yeah, got he's shot. One who, <laughs> he's one who got shot. But it's like, you, I mean, what, what can you do? You have free will. You know? Yeah, dude. You could have, A, not gone. Yeah. You could have said, like, I don't want to go. Yeah. Uh, or B, you could have said, okay, I'm going to. We'll wait in the line then. You want to go so bad? We're going to wait in the line. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or you could have like offered to pay the guy for his spot and not just like paid the main guy or pay both of them. You're rich. You're top of the world. Anyway, point is. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And kick him out. Yeah. And that was throw him out. Like that was the crazy. That was part. the crazy part. Like he cut in line and he was like, leave it alone. Like, leave me alone. Like, stop coming at me for cutting in line. But then actually, I'm going to like pay them to like kick you out of line. Like. Yeah. 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 They paid. He paid the, the, the other guys to throw this kid out. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. He. I, I'm not going to say he deserved to get shot because he didn't deserve to get yeah, shot. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. But uh, he should have expected something. Like That's yeah. wild. I mean, and also, I mean, the, the, uh, the crazy, like, hospital Oh, my moment. God. That was insane. I kind of forgot about that. Too, yeah. Right yeah, that was, that was intense. And it was just, like, a thing where, like, you aren't famous. You have no ability anymore. And everyone you ever loved or anyone that ever loved you doesn't anymore. They don't give a fuck about you because you can't ride a horse. You anymore. can't ride a horse. And that was like, damn. Yeah. And I'm really loving all the um like inner dialogue, like narration. Yeah. Between like the characters and also just like Johnny. I, I really like that. Yeah, it's and, really and, fun. And, and Johnny has grown on me so much. Oh, yeah. And when he had like one of his moments towards the end of these uh, chunk of chapters where he was confronting Zeppeli about being hungry, like that was like chef's kiss. Like that whole speech he gave him. He's like, Dio's going to win. And Dio's going to yeah, win because yeah, 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 he's yeah, hungry yeah. because he wants it for himself. And he has his own reasons. And you don't. Like you have your, I, I think like, these intentions or these other things that are put on you by mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. dad, mm -hmm. by this this kid's execution. But you know he wants this for him. Like he's hungry. You know, I don't know the way he said it was just like I was like, damn, Johnny, damn, wow, really got me. Um, so that was insane. And also, you know, Johnny's sort of resilience and his resolve. To be able to even join the race was oh my god insane. He's being he you know dragged around by this oh old horse. Oh my god, that was so hard to see. And then he's dragged. He drags himself up to like the starting line, just like hanging off of the edge of the horse. Crazy, but also amazing introduction for a character. Like yeah, all of this. yeah, yeah. He is just like complete. He's like, yeah, I think he's hurt, and he's like, yeah, he's been hurt. He's a freaking piece of wood gone through his freaking leg like i was like oh my god and he's telling them like if you help me if you get me on this horse i'm gonna kill myself 
Right. If you do, yeah. If you yeah, do, because I want to be able to do it by myself. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. set myself on fire. Yeah, I'm gonna and set myself commit on. Su- like what? Yeah, yeah, Johnny, yeah, yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny boy, chill, 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 chill. And I love Zeppelin's little um stuffed animal. I love his little teddy bear. Oh, yeah, he, he said, "What's necessity?" It. Yeah, that yeah. would be me for sure. Oh, I yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, and he said like he, he can use like I mean you got grills, bro. Yeah. T- bring the toothpaste. You nah, know? dude. I mean, they're probably fake teeth, so he doesn't need to. He's good. He's chilling. He said he could use like a leak or whatever the fuck. He could use something. Leaf. A, a, a leaf. I don't know. Whatever. To, a like, leak. I mean, people use leaks for things. I don't know. Miku. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. Anyway, that awesome. Was pretty crazy. Introdu- yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Sandman. The introduction. Uh, introduction to Zeppelin and the introduction to Johnny. Flawless, dude. Absolutely insane. The race begins. Woo! Um, we're hearing a lot about the race too at a press conference and. You know how it's the set rules, up. The rules, yeah. And I didn't realize. I thought it was just like win or lose. But it, second place, third place, fourth. I mean, until I Significant think. Significant chunks of change. Until I the think. The 20s, I the think. The 10th. The 10th oh, place oh, okay. is allowing prizes. But yeah, every place you get, you get some type of money. So again, we, we know why. And mm-hmm. we know that's not necessarily what everyone is trying to get later <clears throat> on. But well, that's still well, that's still pretty crazy. I was still shocked to hear that. I even love the small touches of like, you know, in, in our introduction to Steel, to Mr. Steel and like how when we first meet him. You love he Mr. Is this, Steel? No, no, no. But I love how when we first <laughs> meet him, he was this like very like, you know, no, uh, no fucking, I guess, no nonsense, nonsense kind of guy, like strict kind of tough guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and his other, <clears throat> this guy who works for him was coming in and saying like, you know, so many people want to join this race. Like. The prize money was so huge and so life changing that we've like we've gotten like way more people than we thought. We don't even know if we can like accommodate this capacity. And he was like, make it happen. Figure it out. And then a guy leaves and he just starts breaking down to his 14 year old wife. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I thought that was his daughter for real. I kind of thought it was his wife from the very beginning. I mean, I could, you know, it's this old West. It's not right, but it's old West. Yeah, I thought it was his daughter. But yeah, this is why it turns out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just like that that just really cool moment where we got to see the real him, and mm-hmm. but also what he puts mm-hmm. forward. Mm-hmm. I, thought I was mean, really cool. once we see what's actually at play here, you realize that he's not the head honcho. You realize no. that he is no. just he's a pawn. Ambitious. He's ambitious, but he's just a pawn at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is which is cool. And he is a promoter who you know cares. I think about putting on these kind of events, but yeah, he is definitely a pawn. Um, pawn shop, um, pawn stars, uh, pawn stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and we get to see some familiar faces. A couple we of uh, yeah. Avdol on a camel. Sick. That was a cool callback because remember how um how they Joseph, were riding the camels. Joseph wanted to sell the car to yeah, get camels. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was hilarious because that there was a thing where like the camels could make it farther than a car because of like the water. And right. There was this whole thing. He made a whole big deal, and it, it was, was cool to see hilarious. him. It was cool to see him on the camel. Yeah. Um. Just a little callback for that. But it and yeah, it was just crazy. I mean, I, you know, you wouldn't think that they'd go immediately like all in. All at once, but right when right when it starts, they start like Zeppeli's out there. Like Zeppeli is going so fast, and you realize why is because of the checkpoint bonus. Yeah, there's time bonuses. Yeah. yeah, and that I mean that is like so important to get. Yeah, like because you you get an hour, you get like an extra hour per right? per, per checkpoint. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, but I think again, I mean. Uh, it, it, for the for the leaders, right? I, I guess I can see how it would matter if you accrue. But then we also learned that there's a point system too. Yeah. Um. But anyway, uh, I I kept thinking like over long distances, like if someone is is even one day ahead, which over the course of that extremely long distance, it would be possible to 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 be ahead by at least a day, mm-hmm. and even if you got an hour at every checkpoint. I mean, you would have, let's just say 15 hours, whatever, 15, I think. Um, um I forget how many checkpoints but 15 there are. hours, still not 24. I, I don't know. I, I I did just feel like really a one hour, but I get it. Especially well, if they're like, if it's that uh, yeah. close of a race. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I yeah. So we see Abdal and then we see the old hag too. She yeah. was the one who gave Poco Loco the reading. And that was cool. <laughs> yeah. That's where we meet Poco Loco who, who came yeah. into the story very strong. 
and then kind of just disappears. I know. Yeah. I know. I liked um I liked the whole like his whole vibe. He was he was just fun. And he was fun. He I was love fun. we love a lucky character. You know, we love a really extremely like that should you should not be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's very funny, and I and I do like Poco Loco a lot. Um, but do I like him as much as some of the other characters? Uh, not necessarily, but I I do like him, and yeah. I and I was having a good time. Like it was that first stretch where he was really in it, and I thought that was I thought that was funny. And he's actually, if I'm remembering correctly, he's actually one of the first people who stand we actually get to see yeah. kind of manifest. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I do like Poco Loco a lot. I mean, th- there's just so many great characters, mm-hmm. so many great characters. Um, but uh, yeah, we 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 see him. He got the prophecy from from the old hag, and uh, or this universe's version of her. Mm-hmm. And she basically said, like, you know, you you can do no wrong. And he's finding out that that seems to be true. Yeah. Uh, his luck is uh, his luck is definitely uh, a real thing. That that seem and, he, and it makes him feel and seems like he is un- invincible, mm-hmm, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, after that initial stretch, after that like first, I guess uh, what would you call it, like portion of the race, whatever. Yeah. Like he kind of, I we really haven't seen any more from him. Yeah. Uh, since then, which is you know kind of a kind of a shame, but he'll pro- probably pop back in at some point. Yeah, I mean to the point where his luck is so good that he's able to see titties. Like yeah, that was crazy, dude. That was crazy. He said yes. He's like, fuck <laughs> yeah. Like, um, that's so important right now. And a lot of stuff was uh, <laughs> happening. Um, you know, we saw who the front ru- runners were going to be. Avdog gets taken out immediately. There's another um, There's another racer. I believe their name is Dot Hand. Am I saying that right? Um, Dot Hand. Um, or Han. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm not seeing them on, I, on the list, but they were also a front runner. We see. Oh, yeah. Dot hand. Yeah. OK. We see um, <clears throat> or are told who the front runners are going to be, but we see who they really are. And it's, mm-hmm. and it's you know, Dio, Johnny, Zeppeli, Poco Loco, Sandman. And there are, are, are I think, a few others that are kind of a, a, around uh, around the front of, of the line, but it ends up being, and a lot of stuff and hijinks do kind of ensue more so with, with Poco Loco during this first leg of the race, but it ultimately ends in like a very close, uh, race to the finish yes, where it's yes, like yes, by, yes. by the, by the snout of a whore. I mean, they are, I mean, by head. the dead carcass of a freaking cow bitch. Like that that's how, crazy. that's how close. Yeah. That's how close. And I mean, Sam is out running people on horses. Like, but Sam, and this is what I love, wow. Sam has the advantage wow. of being able to, to traverse like different kinds of terrain. That's what made Poco Loco even able to catch up after waking up late because a horse can typically not make it over that, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. far uh, mm-hmm. of a, like a, a cliff or gap. Um, but Sam can just jump over these things. He can climb up rocks really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. using this like special technique. When he runs uh, of the, with a ball of his foot yeah, it's, to distribute his weight. It's, it's fucking amazing. crazy. And yeah, he's just outrunning all of them on foot. Like this man is a madman. Yeah. Like that's so wild. He's going to do all this on foot. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, it was like full throttle. Like, yeah, it was yeah. so fun. I was on the edge of my seat. And honestly, even Dio's technique about like being so close to horses mm-hmm. and really understanding that they all have patterns and just being able to calculate and understand the patterns and then yeah. take advantage yeah. of it yeah. uh, or habit, whatever. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was cra- awesome. Again, it was just like, you didn't think it could get crazier and they're all at the very end. And Zeppeli's like, Oh, I'm going to make my Cape um, into a sale really right. quick. And then he just wins at like 18 minutes. Right. Like, yeah. Woo! That was awesome, dude. That was awesome. And they're all, and I'm like, this is what we're in for, dude. I yeah, honestly, yeah, it was a great, great couple first chapters to like yeah. really capture the essence of what we're going to see. Um, not super high intensity of all of them at once, but like this, the, the, the knowledge that every racer has their ability to change direction or change, um, you know, like change, change, um, 
uh what's it called um um strategy in order to win um just in that part it was it was it was great it was yeah. amazing and it was also you know uh, incredible too because like what i loved about part 5 is like it was moving and this just fucking moved so much so that I know the chapters are incredibly long, but I really did not feel it. I mean, mm -hmm. I, they, they are long, but man, like, I mean, they they move. Move, like, move, move. Anyway, we, we get to the end and uh, Gyro, uh, Gyro, I'm going to land on one eventually, um, wins, but receives a penalty for that was, using that was one of his up. steel balls to to make Sandman kind of trip because they're following them on train yeah. and hot air balloon and all that. I was like, damn. I was like, yeah, but I mean, at least they're like, <laughs> yeah, they seem to be keeping a close eye on the racers. They're like, that was against the rules. You it's can't, very, it's very like, you know, you can't use a s steel ball to throw someone off track. Like, what do you think you think that was going to like fly with us? It was well, just funny. Like, it was just funny. There was like repercussions for like, of course. Him doing that. but I even like when they were asking him, Mr. Steel at the beginning about even allowing people to have weapons. And he's like, mm -hmm. well, they're going to be occupying some pretty dangerous territories overnight. Like they're going to need weapons to protect themselves. So it makes sense like why they would allow them in the first place. But yeah, to use it to sabotage another racer is not in the mm -hmm. rules. This mm -hmm. really feels like, and in the beginning especially, so fucking much. Like, I know this is crazy and maybe I'm just pushing my own agenda right oh, now. Oh, God. But this felt what? like Speed Racer. Like, oh, I, I, my I love God. the live action Speed Racer movie. Oh, I think it's a fucking awesome movie. God. And this really felt you, like, I'm just kidding. This really I'm just felt kidding. so <laughs> similar to Speed Racer. Like, the movie specifically like wow. it, it was yeah anyway just want to say that i really liked the chart when i got to see all the the horse names oh yeah and you know it's cool too on the wiki if you pull up the uh characters on the wiki you can also pull up the horses i like it i like it a valkyrie lot. Yeah. is gyro's horse yeah. uh slow dancer is johnny's um silver bullet is diego brando's uh yeah yeah really cool. i really liked it mm-hmm um, anyway, and of so, course, he's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah, he's yeah, really yeah. pissed. Uh, yeah, he's super pissed. And and we're starting to understand, you know, we're, we're getting like his backstory kind of trickled uh, to us. And uh, I, I really appreciate that, too, because at, at first we realized it has something to do with a, a kid being executed or, or sentenced to being executed. But as the course of the story continues to unfold or as it continues mm -hmm. to fold, unfold over the course of the story, we learn more about like why Zeppeli would care so much about that. Um, and I, 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 again, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing bad I have to say about, about any of this, um, at all. Um, but yeah, that's where we also see, you know, Mountain Tim get pulled aside. Riz Lord. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's, uh, yeah. I don't know if he's a Riz Lord. He's just kind of like, he's just kind of like, I'm a, a classic cowboy. Right. A classic cowboy bringing to justice. This is the work of vultures. You ever yeah. see vultures tear apart their victims? But I think it might not be a vulture. Right. Because I'm, he's like such a cool, like, he's cool. cowboy he detective. Is cool. Like, Mountain Tim. Like, come on. Cool name, too. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's the sheriff in town now. Yeah. He's been kind of, uh, the he's sheriff's upgraded. sort of asked him he's been to, upgraded, yeah. to figure out, like, what's going on, right? There's someone clearly there doing something sinister. And yeah, they found, like, four bodies. Yeah. Four bodies. And there's, like, intestines are, like, pulled out. And they yeah. think it's, like, a. They think is a vulture, but then they're like, no, nah, this is the work of humans for sure. But this is what I love about competition, um, shows, media, is that like, you know, there's one clear goal, but you have to worry about the people along the way. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I really find interesting with these types of things. It's like, you know, Hunger Games. Well, Hunger Games, you do have to kill people. Um, but it's like any competition. The whole point of the that, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I, as I said, it, it didn't really make any sense. Like Battle Royale, it's kind of the same thing. Right. Assassination um, Classroom. Is yeah. that? No. Okay. No, not at all, actually. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, I, I haven't seen all of Assassination, uh, assassination yeah. Classroom. Shows. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Mountain Tim, Riz Lord. Uh, he's on the hunt for who's killing these people. And uh, again, I mean, I just love every interaction with Johnny. And yeah, you just see them becoming closer in friendship versus like, I don't want to talk to you. You don't, you don't follow me. There's just little like moments of discussion between mm -hmm. them and i really like it yeah i really like it i like it a lot uh again we're gonna you know kind of speed through these things yes. i think it's really important to, to set up you know all of the initial events of the story for sure but here's where we get the sort of interaction with the uh boom boom family i guess uh and the boom boom family are uh uh 
basically these uh, a brother, sister, and a father who have the power of of magnetism essentially, and they mm-hmm. can also use like iron uh, and iron in blood, iron in anything, and can polarize things and attract things uh, to to uh, one another. Uh, and so this is is sort of their first stand encounter um, that um, they come across. I yeah. What happened to uh, Mrs. Robinson? That's later. That's later. Yeah. Really? Pretty sure. Yeah. Because they haven't oh. they haven't teamed up with Tim yet. And oh. when the explosions happen. Oh no! Yeah, it's right above here. Defeats Robinson. This chola. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, what? Uh, it's a little before. Yeah, like Mrs. Robinson with a cacti. With the chola. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. That's, but a, they that's haven't before. confronted them in uh, confronted him in the town yet. No. Right, right. That's no. why I got confused. Okay, that's but yeah, I- that was cool. I mean, Mr. Robinson was like such a cool design again, and just that uh, again, we're seeing in those moments like it, it, his ear with all of the needles. That was so crazy, yeah. and the fact that it was like a cactus. He's like cactus do shoot out right. the needles. I'm like, what? That's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that was a cool fight. Uh, anyway, we can go Oh, actually, you know what? Actually, yeah, you're right. Uh, Miss Robertson is a different character mm-hmm. than the other character that they meet in the town later. But I think they looked so similar to me. Oh. I kind of got them uh, mixed Oya, up. Oye, oye, como va? Oye, como va, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, in my, in my head, in my memory, they look similar. But you're right, Megan. Thank you for keeping us on track. Um Mrs. Robinson was the first stand user that they came across mm-hmm. with the explosive cacti and all that. Cho- Chola- Cholas. <clears throat> yeah. Um, after that, then that's when they meet the uh, the boom boom, boom fam. The boom booms. The boom and, booms. Uh, this was really, really cool. And again, to, to see them think on their feet mm-hmm. and them uh, have to... Basically, it gets to a point where they have to... They're all being attracted to one another. The father has used his ability to to shape his face to turn into Johnny to trick uh, Tim yeah. into thinking that Tim is one, one of those. Yeah, 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 doing everything. So now Tim's after them, and uh, they're all being pulled together, but they don't really realize it. So they're like, how are we gonna how are we gonna signal to Tim who thinks that we did it to stop pursuing us? Because if he doesn't, we'll all just be fucking mang- a mangled f- ball of ball. flesh. Yeah. Um, so again, I mean, it, it, this was a really, really cool moment and uh, a, a really cool stand battle because it yeah. was just sort of these these guys. Uh, and also, I, I I like I know we're kind of all over the place, but I really like, you know, even getting to see Yairo in that situation where someone is approaching them at their campfire. Yeah. And he's also very hesitant. He's like, I'll help you. But like over like go over there, like mm-hmm. don't come over here, especially after uh, Mrs. Robinson. And now we're learning that like. Oh, people are after Yairo, like for some why reason. Why are they after yeah. him? Uh, yeah, but this is fucking absolutely crazy. So um, they realize that they're all being affected by the magnetism, right? Uh, they're able yeah. to to stop it because Yairo throws like one of his his balls at the rock, and it kind of makes them trip and fall. Oh, yeah. And Talk they... about a rock in a hard place. Ah, you've been waiting. You've been sitting on that one. Yeah. I feel it. Um, And then he's able to avoid or slow down being pulled, right? Mountain Tim, by distributing his body across this lasso, which to me is one of the coolest stam- Insane. Uh, uh, abilities. I mean, visually. Uh, visually, Insane. it's so cool. Um. But even even that is not enough. I mean, it does buy them a little bit of time. But we're learning about the devil's palm now and that that is how he acquired this ability. The devil's palm is a cursed place. And and actually, Tim is the one who who mentions stands, mm-hmm. um, which yeah, is really cool. He calls it stands. Because everybody else called it like a cursed ability. Yeah. And it's because much like in our uh, initial universe, uh, there was an asteroid that came from space. Mm-hmm. But instead of being used to create arrows it has sort of infected this area in which it struck and it moves constantly like around around the world uh which is again really interesting and i really like it and, and it kind of picks has, right who right. gets a bit ability yeah and uh again that 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 tim has the skill of using this lasso 
And that is also the standability he's sort of been granted. Yes. Love it. And again, he's the one that says, people call this cursed ability, but I like to call it standability. And I was like, let's fucking go, Tim. Uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, they use uh, Benjamin Boom Boom uses his stand to immobilize uh, them and kill them. But Johnny awakens his own stand right <gasps> here that I don't think we see yet. But, bro, I, I, I again, I there's nothing like, th- like this. This part doesn't miss. Doesn't miss. Like he's still trying to master the spinning ability. He's so obsessed with the spinning ability. Spin. He's like spin, spin, spin. Yeah. His mind is spinning. He's like spin. His spin, head spin. is spinning. He's ah. like spin, 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 spin. I can only think about spinning. Just take a spin class, this guy. Yeah. Uh, he's so obsessed with it that when the devil's palm again passes through to where they're at, his stand ability is awakened, and they haven't really fully noticed that the devil's palm has sort of come to where they are. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, we're in the middle of it now. Yeah. But <laughs> we all gotta of get sudden, out of here. It's gonna come here now. Johnny's nails begin to spin like little razor blades. The like little, little finger fidget saw. fidget spinners. It's like finger spinners. Yeah. Like Even na- before the time. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I mean, there's nothing really. F- I mean, a lot of things spin. A lot of things spin. But I get what you're saying. Um, <laughs> I was just trying to put my own spin on it. Oh, that was great. That was great. That was worth it. That was masterful. Thank you. Um, but not only can he spin and cut through things, but he can shoot shoot them and new nails will grow back. Like, very, very sick. Spider-Man shit. Very, very <laughs> sick. Um, I don't know if Spider-Man... I, okay, I say one thing <laughs> every time and it's always like, no, that's actually not well, okay, it at l- all, l- l- let's just Let's just walk through it. What makes fidget, it... Spi- what, finger spin... Finger, what, what, fidget what? spinners, like finger... It's not really like that at all, actually. Well, no, I mean, you just named a thing that spins. Okay, it's like the... It's like... It's like oh, they're like wet. wheels, actually. They're like buzz saws, actually. They're like a, like a lot of things spin. Uh, but I'll, 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 I'll agree. I'll, I'll... Fidget spinners are held by your fingers. It is close to your fingernails. That's why I made the... I, I, what, okay, I, I'll concede did I say, that part. Did I no, say no, no. a saw? No, I'll Did cons- I say no, a I merry-go-round? Said, okay, no. Did but, I say a tire? Did I say a wheel? I'll concede that. I'm not even arguing that point. I'm arguing what makes Johnny's standability like Spider-Man. Because it looks like... It looks like his... It looks like this hand gesture no it looks like the the it looks like the web spinning nails look like web the the spinning thing the fidget spinner thing that my bad i i I apologize spider-man i just have to i you kept me honest spinner (laughs) man now i get it master spinner like master, master splinter yeah, yeah, yeah. spinner yeah. you get a splinter usually okay in okay your okay, okay 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 i'm okay. sorry but but you you kept me on track with the uh mrs robinson thing and now i'm going to keep you on track <laughs> all right <laughs> nerd emoji nerd emoji anyway johnny kills them and uh <laughs> they reveal they were hired to kill gyro <laughs> who uh promptly left uh, to the desert. He he left his, fled his hometown or his homeland uh, to enter this race. And there are assassins after him. Okay. Again. And he has a bounty on him. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Um, so we're going <laughs> to, I keep saying it. We're going to speed up. We're going to speed up. Okay. So we see up. baby Iro and he, we get some lore. He some lore. is a, his father's a world renowned well, his whole family, yeah. Yeah, a was it executioner. Executioner. They're, and they, they come from a, a line of executioners. And they use these steel balls to kill people, which yes. is kind of crazy. Um, but there's a whole code, and we'll get into it later. But yeah, he pretty much is raised to be one of these people in his family. Um, and I was so I was really like shocked at this backstory. It was really cool. It was amazing. I liked it a lot. Yeah, a line of executioners with a special technique, uh, passed mm-hmm. down every uh uh, uh person in that family. Uh, while the oldest will take on sort of that yeah. responsibility for the kingdom. They serve the king. His father doesn't believe in sentimentality because it will soften the heart. And essentially we learn that there's this kid who was working for the king. The king. And there was a a uh 
conspiracy to take him out. People were conspiring conspiring to assassinate him. This kid was a shoe shiner, mm-hmm. and they they think that uh, you know because he probably overheard some of these conversations while shining shoes that he is guilty of uh, of uh, coercion treason. and treason. Yeah, which treason. is a death, which and, has and, to yeah. be Yairo's first job on the executioner block. And Yairo's like, uh, I'm not doing that. Yeah, he's like, okay, you're gonna start tomorrow, but you're starting with a child. And the kid. Um, so I hope you're ready. The kid is like, of course, like the sweetest kid in the world. Um, we see like a little interaction that they have at some point. Little Marco. Little Marco. Marquito. Yeah. Cute, cute kid. Um, and I get it. I get it. I get why. I mean, he's risking everything to save. It. I mean, but I think it's more about what, what it like stands for. Yeah. yeah. And he's kind of like done with his dad, to be honest. Yeah. His dad's yeah. a, yeah. Yeah. His dad's um, an old head. Yeah. But. Anyway, this is where we get to another town, another sort of uh, stop on mm-hmm. on 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 the map, and that's where we come across Oye Komova, and uh, mm-hmm. he's there mm-hmm. looking for a, a a message that Yairo mm-hmm. received from his kingdom. Yes, uh, Mountain Tim kind of confronts him, and is it looks like blown up, like blown up completely. But we find out later that he was able to survive because he split up his body again. Uh, really cool, uh, Mountain Tim. Uh, your damn Mountain Tim's jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy again, gore, gore. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, you know they're able to they're able to uh, take him out after uh, uh, another stand battle, and this was really cool. Again, it does seem like certain concepts are being revisited. You could see maybe I could see maybe a little bit of Killer Queen. I, I believe mm. uh, um, uh, was the uh, stand. Name. Uh, I always get the uh, the dub names and the sub names confused, but uh, essentially, uh, Yoshi Kage Kira's stand. Um, I could kind of see a similarity just ex- in explosions, I guess. Oh yeah, I liked. Um, you know, he had to hold the, the holding the pins down, but it is different, and the but, sweat, yeah. like all of yeah. it, was so so cool. No, it was it was it was different, but completely different and, and really unique. But it's, it's it's again it's that concept but elevated like mm-hmm. I I really think it 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 like Oye Komova's uh, stand ability like makes more sense kind of in a weird way I I I I really really and he's awesome looking he's crazy looking crazy looking so sick yeah um but you know they're they're able to uh to take him down and they're on their way to the zombie horse and they got to go to the zombie horse because which I thought was literally going to be a zombie horse so I got excited. But no, it was like a it was like a, a mural of a it was like a horse. Um, but they took thread, which is like mm. able to help with wounds, like right. pretty much any wound. Um, which we we come to find out because they get torn up from the floor, they do. floor and up. They do. Um, yeah. Um, and that's where we get that flashback of of Marco. But we already kind of talked about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and. We also get this story about this this guy Joseph of Armithia. Uh, yes, I'm probably saying that wrong, but he was the guy who took Jesus off the cross. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he drew a map depicting an unknown land. <laughs> sounds like the guy who put like it's like you know like you put him on the map like that expression. Oh, yeah, it took him off the cross. It was yeah, just like yeah, funny. Yeah. Took him off the cross. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he also created a map that. Was of an unknown land at the time. Of course, this 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 map has been understood now to be the Americas, or you know, um, but at the time it was it was unknown territory. It was unknown. So like, how did this guy find this? Mm-hmm. And people were also like, "What even is this fucking crazy place?" And then they find out, you know, and they're later, like, "Oh, it's still crazy." Oh, it's even crazier. Yeah, yeah, it's it's worse. Yeah, it's a, and it'll I mean, get worse. Yeah, forever. It'll get worse. Yeah, it'll just get worse and worse. Uh, it'll get kind of cooler, but also mm-hmm. worse at the same time. Yeah. But there's also these these marks on it, and now we're starting to find out more about the other intentions of putting on this race. Yes, but it's maybe to find the, the, this this these things that are marked off on this map that we will learn later is a corpse, corpse part, a mummified corpse to be exact. Right, and we 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 meet Funny Valentine, mm-hmm. the president of the United States. Yep. Um. Who else? Who else? better um to in order to to cause mischief and mayhem of course 
um to be to be under under the the radar doing doing sneaky Puppet shit. Puppet master. Yeah. What well, what better character? Um, really, it's really calls to, um, reality there. But yeah, there's these pretty much they they're they're under the same. Uh, uh, they're they're on the same track of like they need to get this body. Yeah, they need to get this mummified corpse in their in their grasp. Um, and I don't think we find out yet, but we do find out later that that he is in possession of a piece of the corpse himself. Yes, he is, and he yeah uh, yeah he has it in him. He has yeah. a couple pieces. No, I think he just has a the heart. heart. I think just the heart. That's fucking wild. No, I mean it is wild. Yeah, yeah. And this guy looks wild too. Yeah, yeah, he looks crazy. Like, you know, like he looks like a yeah, like a pompous sort of like rich political figure, you know, like someone Perfect. Who, uh I mean, yeah, he's yeah. you know. Uh bad dude. You mm. can just kind of tell. You can just kind of tell when you look vibes. at him. Yeah, for sure. Bad vibes. Um <clears throat> but now we're learning that like Mr. Steele is kind of working with these guys, working with the president of the United States and this is another ulterior motive for this race because the race does kind of cross and hit all the marks on this uh, on this map. Um, then they're about to read. Now we're cutting back to Johnny and, and Gyro, who cut uh, who are about to reach Monument Valley, and the duo is attacked by a by a guy named Pork Pie Hat Kid. This shit was so fucking sick. It really like, was. It really was. Gyro just getting like pulled out of thin air. His horse getting pulled out of thin hair. Like his fucking gloves, bitch. Like a cartoon. Like, you know, it's like when you run away, when someone like a character like runs away really fast and their shoes are left, like that was it. Yeah. I was like, I thought he turned invisible. I thought he was kind of, yeah, the way it was kind of drawn, it, it looked like things were turning invisible. Like it looked like, yeah. the, it looked like the Josuke, Jonathan, yeah. like baby yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really did. And I was like, is they, and even like Johnny was like jumping to crazy conclusions. Like, is are they getting taken to another dimension? I was like, whoa, whoa, Johnny! Yeah, yeah. It's not that serious. It is not that serious. They're just getting pulled up by hooks. <laughs> but know? I mean, he was able to. He was able to like access like not another dimension necessarily, even though it was kind of described like that later on. But like, like he, he could basically use the water pan. And drop the hooks to the water pan, and they but would be somewhere else. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like I don't know. It, yeah, but he thought so they Johnny just, wasn't that far off. He thought I know, but he, I was a, yeah. It's like he's like yeah, you yeah. just saw dimensions like a hook. Like he would have never yeah, like yeah, what yeah, like yeah, hooks yeah. coming from the sky from yeah, a little yeah. kid. Like what? Um, but yeah, that was so awesome. I loved his whole struggle with going under the rock and trying to figure out and, and getting lost and putting sand on him and, yeah, and going through the sand and trying to get to Yairo and then just like completely like, he's just like, okay, well, I'm just going to set you on fire then. And he sets it on fire. It's a freaking wood carving bitch. Like what? It was yeah. like, it was such a cool stand battle. Yeah. And it felt so again, I we're, we're in these parts. I'm so used to seeing like, a big group of Joe bros, but it's so intimate because it is only like two of them at yeah, a time. Yeah, yeah. And it feels like it, it's, it's great. I mean, that's how we see it in like part six with like jo Jolene and like, um, what's his name? Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah. Like duo stuff, but I don't know. It's just like out in the desert, like just, you know, back to that, like part three feel of like desperation and, 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 and annihilation. Yeah. Suffocation, no suffocation. Breathing. Yeah, yeah. I really, yeah. I really like this this battle. No, this was this was an incredible battle. Um, probably one of my favorites. I mean, Oya Komova was really good. The boom boom one was cool for the awakening of uh, Johnny's standability, and the 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 Mrs. Robinson was like, uh, okay, it was cool. But these they two, build like, Oya up, Komova, and then they build up this, mm -hmm. the the what, what's his name, pork pie hat kid, like pork pie hat boom, kid. Yeah, like it really does. It it does get so crazy and this fight is even crazier first of all his ability is so cool he's working for valentine you know he's an assassin but it's so cool because we get to actually see johnny's stand sort of manifest yeah and i think this is an echoes reverb kind of situation i could be wrong but because his stand is so newly awakened mm -hmm. similar to koichi how it had like uh, stages of, of growth like i feel like this is just the first form of tusk and we will get to see like the more he uses it like 
that uh, entity sort of grow mm-hmm. and change mm-hmm. change form. But you actually said the tusk is the cutest and coolest Bro, stand that you've seen. So I was far. not expecting that, and the fact that it couldn't like communicate was even cuter. He was like, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, "What are you saying?" And he's with this little like pink like. <laughs> it is so cute. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him to change. I want him to stay like that. Yeah. I like him like that. And it's actually uh, pretty crazy too because it's around this point that I, and I think it happened when they were, possibly when they were in the Devil's Palm, when they were fighting the Boom Boom family. Um, mm. But but Johnny didn't even notice that a corpse part had been like. no inside of his body i mean he, he kind of starts to notice it and see it like it's like bone on top of like skin it's like very yeah you know creepily drawn and you know it's he realizes he has he has this like mummified arm in him and uh tusk appears and that's what i thought like is 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 the mummified body or the mummified saint corpse like is it is it drawing power from that or is the corpse itself awakening his innate stand ability or is it mm. coming from, mm. is that like the, the stand of the corpse? I, I don't know. I was kind of like, yeah, I was kind of confusing. My mind was racing a little bit. Um, but he keeps, he keeps uh, whispering like, like move cruise or something like, or he, but he gets real close to his ears. So it's like whispering. Um, yeah. And, uh, it's a message that ends up being engraved on on his arm. Yeah. Uh, but that's when Johnny like has this epiphany like, oh, this race is more than just like, I mean, the race is already again becoming so many things. It's mm-hmm. becoming now like, you know, Gyro wanting to prevent this child's uh, execution. It's the yeah. corpse pieces. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so many things. And I just want to point out, I mean, the thing that I thought I would never see in a manga um, uh-huh. or Jojo in, in general is... Uh, the president of the United States shotgunning a beer. Oh, that was lit. Um, yeah, that was lit. He goes, you know how to drink a beer? The that. whole That was like party lit. Like, yeah. I was like, damn, like he's about that life. You, you know how to finish a whole beer at one time? Like, I was yeah. like, no. And then he started, he, he, he have a pen, on, a pen. I yeah. was like, I was like, whoa, they were whoa. doing that back then? I guess damn. so. I was like, he did not just do that. Be fucking for real. Um, but that was just amazing. Just so, cherry on the top of everything else that's happened so far yeah wow what's also funny is i i mean so ultimately they they're able to i mean there was this moment where it did look like they were going to lose the arm um but you know they end up taking out uh pork pie hat kid Mm -hmm. it's always so funny because like all these things happen and they're so crazy and then it's like we got to get back to the race and they're still like (laughs) somehow like that's what that's the only crazy part on track like I like if Dio didn't have to come across anything or Diego, whatever, if he didn't have to come across anything, like he should be way ahead. Yeah. But like they're they're dealing with like they're having like stand battle after stand battle. They're like, we gotta get back to the race. And then they're still like gunning for first place. Um, uh, but it, that was that was pretty crazy. Uh so, Oh yeah, and then and then this is like the moment uh where Johnny like passes him up. And, oh yeah, and he's so mad. It's so funny. He's like, "I told if we're gonna do this together, I'm always first And he was like, "I didn't even really try to. I yeah. wasn't trying to do that. It was just. It was just so funny. He was just so kind of like, "How can I? Can I trust this guy?" It was like, "Bro, he didn't even." And it. Johnny's like made it his mission now to like find and like decipher the meaning of the text and find yes. where the next corpse part is. But Jairo's not like fully on board yet. Like, he doesn't really give a shit. I mean, yeah, he's, he's got his own reason. Yeah, for, for Marco. Me. Right. Yeah, but then that's when we cut to Lucy Steele, the fourteen-year-old bride, and she sees Valentine, uh, Valentine's like heart, and she's like kind of starting to freak out about some stuff. Yeah, she better um, watch out. She's about to get taken out for real. That's when they go through the mountains, and they're they're going, you know, to the next spot, which they realize is like carved in 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 stone, and it probably has to do with the Big Dipper and the stars, constellations, all that. That's when they come across Diego and Diego starts acting acting strange. Acting a little raptory. Yeah, yeah. Uh uh yeah, I was trying to do a rafters, raptors thing, mm. but yeah, it just didn't come to me in time. Mm. Yikes. Um but yeah, the, he starts acting real strange. They see him kind of <laughs> on the side of the road, covered in blood, and they're like, you know, okay. like you said, Johnny's like, leave him. Yeah. He's <clears throat> a horrible person who married an 80-year-old woman and took her inheritance. I was like, get your bag. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Get your bag. She probably had the best five years of her life. Oh, yeah. You know Diego treated her good. You know he did. You know he you did. You know he did. You know. Um, but this is around the time where, you know, there, there's that really funny bit where he comes in. It's a whole coffee thing. And something's amiss. Something's awry. Something's not right. <laughs> and um, it's it, it, we haven't really quite seen his transformation yet before we get, I think, his backstory. I think we get his backstory. First. Yes. I just want to say, dude, I fucking absolutely to take a character as iconic as Dio. In this case, Diego Brando, that iconic, your main villain, essentially, for multiple mm-hmm, parts mm-hmm. of this overarching generational story, to go back and to, like, the pressure, I can't imagine, to mm-hmm. retell his his story, um, rewrite it. I mean, they just... But holy fucking shit. He, I, Araki just humanized him so much to the yes. point where it's like, this isn't the person that you, who who took that path to being a... You know, a blood sucking vampire. Like yeah. this is just a man who works hard and has worked hard to be in the place that he's at. Um, and like how and he'll and, do whatever think, he has to do to to to, to get there. That's to rise true. To the ranks. Yeah, but you know, yeah, that was a that was crazy. I mean, like the, God damn, like the the the, the, the pan soup. soup. His, mom, his mom, like almost getting R worded in the barn, like and then she, him being like, no, 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 it's okay, it's fine. I'm just not gonna let you and your kid eat. For weeks. Yeah, I'm going to bust holes in your cups. And that I thought was it was kind of cute. Like, l- little Dio was like, re- or Diego <laughs> was really cute, dude. And I was even telling Megan, like, as we were reading it, I was like, doesn't he kind of have like a little Giorno hairstyle? Like, I don't know. He kind of reminded me of like a little Giorno, too, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, and when he was sitting there, like, he was like, I-, I think in the story, he was like five or six years old. And his like, legs are crossed. And he's like, it's okay, mom. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, this kid fucking <laughs> rules, dude. So positive, like, as a young child, too. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, I'm not even hungry. Like, you know, I don't know, like really sacrificing his own hunger for his mother. Mm-hmm. I mean, this this is like a fucking awesome child, especially for a child who was like thrown in a river, you know, and abandoned. Like, was buried in a ditch. Buried in a ditch and then, and then washed, washed up. up. And then put in a barn and then, yeah, you know, had his mother die from tetanus, which, which he probably thought was from led the from the soup. Yeah. Hand soup. And he's like, Damn. what I like about this this version of Dio is he's like, I'm not just coming after the fucking rich fucks that put us in this position in the first place. I'm coming after everybody because all of these other motherfuckers who were supposed to be our family, mm-hmm. who were supposed to be in the mm-hmm. same boat that we are in. I mean, I'm not saying I agree, but as a character motivation, like I really like it. He's like, you guys didn't bat an eye. Like you guys knew what was going on. Like, mm-hmm. of course, they had they were fending for themselves, too, and they were afraid to do anything because certain things would get taken away from them and they didn't know if they could survive that. So I understand why they stood out of it. But for a character motivation, he's like, nobody fucking did shit. The rich people put us here, but we could have all banded together and maybe made our lives a little bit easier yeah. for each other. But yeah. you guys didn't do shit. You guys acted like you didn't see shit. He's like, fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. I'm going to be a dinosaur. I mean, yeah. And make other people dinosaurs too. Well, And rats. That's cr- well, Anything could be a dinosaur. Anything yeah. could be a dinosaur. That was a wild. Well, I don't know if he can do all that now. No, no, he can't. But I mean, like the, the bear corpse. Maybe he can though. They're like, oh God, is behind all this bear corpse. Oh, it's it turned into a dinosaur. This was the most bizarre shit. That, I mean, we saw some bizarre shit. You know, little <laughs> tiny clocks with little pins in it. I mean, they were <laughs> melted by sweat. I mean, we saw we but, see some crazy shit. <laughs> but when he started turning into a dinosaur, like specifically a velociraptor. And he had like D O D O D O D O like written down his tail. Dino. It was a dino Dio shirt. Yeah. But it was oh Dio. Like God. I was like, yo, this is lit, dude. The fact that Johnny was like, what's a dinosaur? <laughs> it, well, of course they wouldn't know. They're like, what the fuck are these things? Um, <laughs> They're like, di- he's like, what do you say? Like dino, like S O R E. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like sore. Um, but yeah, that was, wild and it's just like dinosaur fight for dinosaur fight the townspeople are becoming dinosaurs the rats yeah the mice i mean and now everything's we're seeing a that, dinosaur. now we're starting to see because like zeppeli has been low-key about whether his ability that started off as just a technique had it, like being in the devil's palm had any effect on him yeah it had an effect on johnny but now we're starting to see like because uh, zeppeli is using his steel balls to like uh, it's like um, remember that 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 manga that we read, uh, uh, Witch Watch. Yeah, it was turned into like a little piece of paper. Yeah, like, he's, he can like flatten out Johnny and like make Johnny like two dimensional <laughs> and like and slide through. 
Like it's pretty crazy. And he's doing that to his legs yeah. too. Like when Dio's coming after he like yeah. the ball's like flat. It's like like a it's like, inflatable. It's like, like Looney Tunes. Yeah, it's like Looney, Looney Tunes, Tunes physics. Um, uh yeah, and, and they're all going after these eyeballs in these hands that like it looks like a stand. Well, that's that the next thing. court yeah. part that they find, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is eyeballs, and the eyeballs have turbo on them. Turbo. And then they run across the actual stand user. It turns out that it's not Dio doing all of that. Dio is under another stand user's control, and this stand user uh, is familiar. Because at first I was like, okay, well, how would Dio, like, mm -hmm. maybe because he passed out next to a fossil, but no, the, the actual stand user is uh, a biologist. Archaeologist. An archaeologist yeah. or some, some, something of that nature. So, if, yeah, it makes sense. A Dr. Ferdinand. Dr. Scary Ferdinand. Monsters is the stand. <clears throat> scary Monsters, yeah. I believe. Um, it's like, why are you calling them Scary Monsters? You know they're dinosaurs. Is that a Skrillex reference? Um... Who knows? Who knows? It's music. I don't um, know. <laughs> yeah. So I was kind of bummed out that it wasn't Dio stand, but we 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 get to peace with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this shit was fucking crazy, dude, because okay, they find the corpse part and they realize that if like someone has the corpse part, then they can fight against the be turned into like a dinosaur. So like Zeppeli's already kind of gone. Yeah, Zeppeli's like turning into a dinosaur as we speak. I, I, like yeah, yeah. And I just want to say that panel where, like, yeah. Dio has that bandage over his face. I mean, whoo, like, like, this is fucking it's a peak fucking shit. And I was like, oh, my God, I've never seen this, like, depicted this way. Uh, yeah. But even Zeppeli turning. Like, like, I'm like, turning into that. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And so there's two eyeballs. One gets, like, rolled over to, to Zeppeli, and Zeppeli is able to, like, use one. And this shit is fucking awesome. Like, it rolls up his face into his eye. Now he has this like sort of like, eh, is it? I don't know if it's Celtic, but it's like this like kind of like cross sort of symbol in, mm -hmm. in, in his face and his eye. I think all of the the body parts have that because he, you know, Funny Valentine had it in his heart. Johnny has it on his arm. He has it on his face. Mm. They all have those like. It's kind of like a like a plus sign or a cross. But yeah, they're like they're like symbols. It's of it's, some it's sort. a symbol. I just forget like where it originates from. But anyway. So sick. And now he has like an eyeball on his steel ball. So he can throw it and see things. He can see vibrations. He can see all this. He can see all that. So he sees through all the dinosaurs to see where <laughs> Ferdinand is hiding. Which Ferdinand is hiding inside of a that dinosaur. That was wild. That x-ray vision. It was like yeah. a suit bitch it yeah, was like, like a, one of those inflatable yeah dinosaurs. yeah 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 exactly and the skull and everything i was like oh my god yeah and yeah so so fucking crazy but, yeah uh, gets taken out and uh i mean that just is 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 so fucking cool uh diego escapes with the other eye and is able to kind of keep his dinosaur form which is kind of crazy really really crazy i don't even know what the implications of that are but yeah now he can like and, and it looks like this is like i think significant as i thought tusk right was the embodiment of you know sort of the corpse part right like a mm -hmm. embodiment of the stand of the corpse part there's another stand that appears when we see the two eyes and when dio takes one and mm -hmm. zeppeli takes mm -hmm. one that mm -hmm. stand we see it split in half like we see half of the stand so now and, and even mm. later when they're fighting against Ringo and uh, Zeppeli manifests that stand he only manifests half of the stand so like they're like splitting I, I don't know I don't know I, I'm really hoping to to learn more about that but this was like this was a lot of fun yeah this it really was, a was. Lot of fun. Uh, really cool part and then uh, of course like Ferdinand's defeated too because everybody reverts back and we find out that you know they'd even change cougars into dinosaurs and the cougars kind of betray betray them um i guess then we're then we get more of uh like valentine's past which is he traveled to the desert uh and he became a politician after he discovered the or, or when he became a politician he discovered the the map mm -hmm. uh that indicated the whereabouts of the quartz parts uh and there are the torso the heart the left arm the right arm spine both eyes both ears both legs and the head right um and so yeah but we we realized that he probably passed through the devil's palm or was in the desert um mm -hmm. on some sort of uh mm -hmm. crusade on some sort of quest. now this shit mm -hmm. i mean i really like the dinosaur stuff um i did really like 
32, 33, 34, going in 35. Yeah. Uh, I really liked Hot Pants as a character. <laughs> hot, hot Pants? Hot Pants was fucking lit. Dude. Yeah. I like Hot Pants a lot. And even, um, what's his name? Is Addy. I mean, um, Ringo. You thought Ringo was Zaddy? See, I'm more of a Zappoli guy. Bro, he came guy. out. He came out of that cabin, and I was like, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I like, I, I'm not saying I don't get it, but it's not my cup of tea. Very 70s, I feel like, kind of yeah. looking like. And if you like that, you like that. 70s Zaddy. And also, uh, I was gonna say this too. Zeppelin's dad looks a lot like fucking Poochie. <laughs> Really? You think so? His, his facial hair. Uh, like, there's one panel. I was like, is that Poochie? What the fuck? That's funny. Um, But yeah, Ringo. I mean, there's uh, everything about this. Everything about these couple chapters were so fucking lit. <clears throat> and again, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I do feel like this is kind. Uh, again, it's they're extremely different. Like in the case of Oya Komova, it's extremely different. I want to make that very clear. And here with Ringo, it's it's very different but I, I even got some king crimson vibes a little bit you know like being able to where king crimson was like editing out moments of time making that those moments like never have happened like you know uh this stand stand mandum could six seconds for turn back time. time six seconds mm-hmm. you know i was just getting mm-hmm. like a little similar similar vibe but still mm-hmm. very different i just think that this frees up iraqi and allows them to play with similar concepts, mm-hmm. but execute them differently and make mm-hmm. them unique. Whereas if you would have done this in a, in a main story, in the main Joe Star sort of story, then there might have been people who go, oh, this is just this again, or this is just this again. But now it's like, no, this is this is not that. This yeah. is something completely different. Um, but yeah, uh, this was really cool. Hot Pants has a crazy stand name. Skin Silly String. Yeah. That's what Cream he's got. Starter? Bro, chill the fuck out, Hot Pants. Keep your... You know, I, I want balls. I want Zeppelin's balls. I don't want your cream. Okay? I want Zeppelin's balls. Cream starter? That's the Bro. stand name. Cream. Even when I said it in the manga, I, got I was like, hot pan- I got Hot Pants. Yeah. Hot Pants, cream starter. Araki knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not here for it. <laughs> you just said you were. You said uh, you want balls. No, I want. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. They're, 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 they're you know. I mean, I guess there's room. You know, uh, there's room. There, there's always room for more. But you know, I'm more of a Zeppeli ball. I'm a ball guy more than I am a cream guy. You know, that's just a fact. <laughs> um. But yeah, the, the introduction was really cool. It was over a stolen cow, yada yada yada. The the the, the ability itself is like really cool. It can it can uh, Hot Pants can use his own skin to, nasty to shoot out like you said silly string skin, covering people's like face, uh, mouth, eyes. Yeah. But if he touches that other person, he can like use their skin. Yeah. And they kind of shrink down. I mean, yeah, really cool, really sick. Um, it's all a misunderstanding. They're able to talk their way out of it. And then they realize like, damn, we've been going around in circles. We're kind of lost. Mm-hmm. Um, we can't get out of here. Marks on trees. There are multiple marks on trees. Shit's weird. We even see like another racer um, who they had uh, mentioned as being like another front run- runner. Uh, I forget their name though. Uh, anyway, um, they confronted this man. He, yeah, he had, uh, he had a gu- he was a gunslinger, and uh, yeah, he was he was in the 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 race, and he pretty much told him like, if you want to get out of this race, you're gonna have to kill. You're gonna me. have to kill me. You have to get through me first. And yeah. he's like, fuck it, I'll do it. Fuck it, come out here then. Yeah, I need to kill you to get to where I need to go, and then he ends up dying. Yeah, he ends up dying, and then everybody's like, okay, well, we're not gonna do that. We're just we're gonna find our way out. And they, they end up giving up and then they say, okay, we're going to all three mm-hmm. temporarily sort of team up together to take this guy out. They come up with this whole plan, mm-hmm. you know, even like Hot Pants is throwing his arm over the roof and he's going to plan on, you know, shooting down. And they actually do succeed, but time has turned back and and it's all like yeah. nullified. Um, but it's really interesting because it's around this time, I think at a certain point, either right before this, I think it was like. I think it was like as they were after the dinosaur stuff, like as they were going into their. Yes, it was after the dinosaur stuff because they're going to their next destination. And that's where I think they 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 lose to Dio again or or no. John doesn't Johnny place first. 
because they're going through the water. Remember, there's like they're at the final they're at the final stretch, mm-hmm. and then they decide, okay, there's a big pond or a big lake, and they decide, okay, we can go to the right or the left. One is rocky terrain, and one is like less rocky terrain, but it's longer. And then uh, uh, Zeppeli's like, no, I'm going in the water, like I'm going through the water. Oh yes. Um, and then like Dio is using his like heightened senses to be able to like, you know, even even more predict sort of the horse's movements and stuff. And mm-hmm. really he's like really going after Zeppelin now because now he wants the course. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Um, which I don't think he did before, but now he does. Yeah, I know. Uh, but that's where they have that whole conversation in the in the water. And Johnny tells Zeppeli, gives him that whole speech about hung being hungry. Yeah. He's like, you have to, you know, this is why. Diego Brando Dio is going to win because he's hungry. Like, mm-hmm. you know, amazing speech, amazing moment, like super powerful, resonated. And Johnny's stepping up to Zeppeli and saying, yeah. like, you're going to lose. And he's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you're going to lose. And and that's that cool moment where, like, Zeppeli starts shedding all of his stuff out of the water and uh, even uses the steel balls on himself to wring out the, the water with yeah. his body. Like, really, really, really fucking awesome, awesome moment. But it was even more awesome for that speech. And the reason I'm bringing that up again is because it's kind of that moment where Johnny and Zeppeli are confronting Ringo and Ringo's like, you know, this guy stands a chance. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Like this guy has got a fire in his eyes, like calling back to that same conversation and saying that like Zeppeli doesn't have that same sort of fire. Yeah, that, He's that, like, that I'll fight the guy has. on the left. He, he might not win, but he stands more of a chance. Um, and again, this whole thing was absolutely crazy. They find out it's like the watch itself. If you read the, the like part in between chapters, is like a manifestation of this ability. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, which I think is a really cool way of explaining that. But even when they try their hardest, like he's able to like shoot the 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 hand on the watch and spin it back. And I mean, this was this I was mean really to cool. have like a character who like went through something so traumatizing that his whole family got murdered yep. and he was about to get like essayed by this like burglar, like to have like this person who went through something so horrific while they were sleeping and w- wasn't able to wake up. Like if you could just rewind time, like six seconds, yep. your family would have been saved. And I was like, damn, damn. <sighs> yeah. Fuck. Yep. Fuck. It was absolutely crazy. And like, yeah, fighting on like a man's terms and like just it was a really, really awesome fight. And I loved how Zeppeli was using the six second rewind to his advantage. And yep. it was just like lit, like so, so peak. Um, yeah. Well, even, fucking awesome. even y- y- Yairo, Jairo, like <clears throat> how he wins essentially, too, is like he's talking about playing chess and he's a move ahead and. He knew and anticipated the time was going to get turned back yes. six seconds, but yes. remembered where the pieces of like yes. shrapnel were falling and then used a ball to hit the wood to go. I mean, I was like, ah, I mean, yeah. this is like fucking peak shit. Like, it doesn't get better than this. Like, and of course, they, they defeat him at the end. Um, and, and, and it is all about like this, this chapter and this fight is all about Yairo, like finding out, like, I do want to find these corpse pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, I. You know, I want because, you know, another thing that Johnny told him is like, you have to like you. It's going to be a slow crawl to getting stronger or something like that. He's like, you have to slowly sort of like I forgot exactly how he said it, but you have to like slowly work towards becoming stronger. You have to make that progress. And so I think, you know, in this whole fight, the point of it is for Zeppeli to really make that decision to, Mm -hmm. to want to do that, to want to grow, to want to do something for himself that he uh, is interested in pursuing and doing and something that he feels like will make him stronger and, 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 and wanting to be stronger, not just wanting to win this race to yeah. like, you know, go against his dad or to save this kid, but like something to make him stronger um, <clears throat> that he's hungry for. And I don't know. It was just so awesome. So amazing. And, 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 and we see him make that decision by the end of it. And that, and we do get to see like a brief moment of that like half stand and all that. But for the most part, again, we haven't really seen a lot of physical manifestations of stands. Mm-hmm. The characters are shining. The battles themselves are shining. Um, and honestly, that's, you know, I know it's you know been a lot, but that's where we ended. Like that's 35 chapters. Like, holy shit. Um, 
absolutely insane, absolutely peak. So much fun. So much fun. Like, I can't, I can't wait to, to go back to reading it. Like, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm so excited to, to figure out how this ends, the meaning, because we, we talk about saint bodies, and there's so many other, like, little things. And we kind of gave a little bit of attention and talked about, like, a, a lot of these things um, at, w- at some point or another. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like, the saint bodies, like, we kind of feel like we know who it belongs to, but what does that mean and what's going to happen and just like with D- Diego now and, 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 you know, being like wanting the parts too. I mean, who else? I mean, it's going to happen where, uh, you know, every racer is going to end up finding a body part. Well, that was another thing too. Like. That I forgot to say. At some point, it was reported that the devil's palm like moved and, mm-hmm. and a, a bunch of racers fell mm-hmm. in. And some of them died, but a lot of them survived. So now, yeah, you're now you know that. It's oh, it's like damn. hot pants, yeah. Like hot pants was one of them, right? Yeah. So that like all of these people that fell in and survived have stand abilities now. But again, I love the stand abilities themselves. I love how they are acquired. I love, I love all of it. The characters, the backstories, the motivations, the the, the plot device itself of the race, the mysteries. Ah, man, like the art. I, I I fully understand why this is. I mean, we we still have, we're not even halfway through. We have uh, you know a decent amount left to go. But I already understand why this is people's favorite part. Yeah. Um, Same. And I have a very strong feeling. I mean, you know, part four and part five always have a special place in my heart. But I have a very strong feeling that that this this is going to be it for you. Might overtake it. This might overtake both of those parts. Damn. I mean, we'll see. I mean, that's why, uh, to bring it back to the cosplay, like, I've been obsessing over wanting to cosplay Zeppeli. I've you looked up, him. like, how to make uh, the balls, how to make the, the hat, how to make everything. That'd be a good con. Grills. Yeah. Con uh, cosplay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else, like, any other final thoughts or anything you I mean, say? we pretty much wrapped it up in the, 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 uh, the beginning. Yeah, and I think we pretty much said all we needed to say. This one's yeah. kind of going on a longer one. Yeah, it's a little but longer. We knew it was. I mean, it's like thirty-five long chapters. Yes, like they are pretty hefty. So yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, I think I think I said everything I need to say, and uh, I can't wait for the next part. Yeah, same, dude. Uh, well, uh, okay, then that's gonna do it um, for our discussion on the first thirty-five chapters. We still have two videos left to go, and remember, if you want to help. Uh, us out and see us in those cosplays you can click the link in the description down below um, to donate to that cosplay fund um, if that's something that you are able to do we are almost done but we are not quite done yet before we go we have to shout out and we have to thank our wonderful our beautiful our amazing patreon and youtube members First of all, we want to thank every single one of you guys from the absolute bottom of our heart. This show is what it is, and we do what we do, and we can do that because of you guys. Like, bottom line, like, you guys There's are- There's no other way. <laughs> just as much this show as me and Megan are. Like, yeah. you guys are literally producing and funding this show. A newer tier that we added to our Patreon- recently and to our YouTube membership program recently as well is the V1P Woo! tier also seen as VIP VIP um, but we got to include the V1 in there um which Woo! is a a higher tier that, that basically allows you all the same benefits as all of the previous mm. uh uh tiers or, or or the previous tier um <clears throat> but it also gives you a permanent discount on all of our merch and a shout out by name during this portion of the episode. So without further ado, we have one V1P oh, member oh. on YouTube as of this recording. So shout out Quattro. Let's freaky go. Quattro, you are goaded. We fucking love you. And as it stands right now, you are the first and only, I believe, Damn. V1P VIP Damn, you are like member on our YouTube membership program. That's some VIP shit. That's some real <laughs> VIP shit. So shout out Quattro. Uh, love you as for everybody else on our patreon who we greatly appreciate um you want to read you want to read the first like five uh, sure right there so we got cameron shout out cameron cameron's been rocking with us from like day almost day one dude like cameron's a super solid dude we love cameron an amazing human being shout out cameron (gasps) 
Cameron, Dallas, David, Paulin, David Ramirez. I'm going to read this out because I feel like it is definitely... Um, it's definitely intentional. Gachi Chattius Thundercock. Oh, yeah. He wanted you to read the whole I know, name. yeah. He did. He um, did. Goodman. I'll read the rest. Jaquan Gold, Quambo, Loaf, Manny, Mr. Stealing Your Waifu, Paladin Berserker Jedi. Pick it up, Megan, right here. Pierce O'Connor, Rexy Dorado, Rokuma, Roland V. Dub, Shane. And Tyler Wallace. Yay. Thank you, guys. You guys are our VIPs, our V1Ps. Uh, we fucking love <laughs> all of our Patreon and YouTube members. Um, but a special thank you to all of our VIP members. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Love we love you, you guys. so much. So, thank so you much. so, so much. What um, the hecky. What the hecky, shooty. Um, Bitchy. Fuck you. <laughs> so thank you guys again. We, we fucking love you. Uh, if you're not a Patreon or YouTube member and you want to become one, whether you want to become a VIP or just a, a, a regular purple badge uh, tier member, you can become a Patreon member by going to patreon.com slash volume one pod. Or you can become a YouTube member by clicking join somewhere next to the uh, uh, subscribe button on this video. That gives you early access to all of our content. Uh, extended, uncut reactions, uh, neon reactions, One Piece reactions, any anime reactions we do. And there's some anime that we're, we're going to be reacting to in the future. Mm -hmm. Hell's Paradise, mm -hmm. all that. You're going to get the extended, uncut, unedited versions of those reactions and our exclusive um, video and audio member podcast volume one extra where we talk about anything and everything sometimes it's chill sometimes uh we talk sometimes about it's not. sometimes it's not chill bro uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh but it's a lot of fun too so you get access to all of that at at at, at pretty much like every single tier whether it's on on patreon and you're like a purple badge silver badge uh uh so on and so forth or on uh youtube um, the only other real step up is if you want to make that leap and are financially able to and 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 willing to uh, become a VIP member, which is just uh, you get that extra discount, permanent mm -hmm. discount, and you get a a, 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 a shout out, shout out mm -hmm. um, by name uh, during this portion of the episode. So yeah, in any way, shape, or form, uh, we appreciate all and any kind of support. So again, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreoncom slash pod. If you want to become a YouTube member. Uh, click join somewhere next to the subscribe button on this video. But if you're not at a point in a place in your life where you can't give financially, um, just because we went on this very long spiel, I don't want you to feel <laughs> um, bad uh, or that um, your support matters any less because there mm -hmm. are plenty of other ways that you can show your support for absolutely free that really do genuinely mean and matter uh, to us and help us out so much. And like I said, all of which you can do for free, which Megan will tell you about now. You can comment on this video, like this video, or even subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. We also have social media if you want to follow us on there, Instagram, Twitter, and we have a wonderful Discord community if you want to go. Um, all of those things will be linked down below. And sharing this video with anyone who likes Steel Ball Run. Um, again, the, this is our first reaction to Steel Ball Run, so if you have anyone who wants to relive it, or if you want to share that with anyone, please share this video. It does help us out so, so much and all of those things you could do for absolutely free 99. Uh, yeah, we appreciate any and all support. So thank you guys again. That's going to do it for Woo! our first installment in three parts covering JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7 Steel Ball Run. The only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro that is always the same and never freaking changes, which today, Megan, is... I mean, that's that's good. It's a lot of, it's a lot of air being blown in the mic. I don't, you know, I don't want to. What if we just like? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now. I love steel balls. Uh, yeah, balls over cream. I. Uh, I love balls. I put steel in the front. Okay, I, I love steel balls. I love steel balls. Okay. I love Yairo's balls. Okay, I like okay. that. One. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for any and all ways you choose to show your support. Even if you're here watching at the very end, view duration, all that shit helps out so fucking much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and until next time, I, I love Yairo's balls. Balls over to you, baby. Balls all day. Yum. Spinning over, spinning. Whoa, they're spinning all over me. Whoa, whoa. Never chill. Here we go. Wave.
I'm almost like that. 